Hello my YouTube friends, this is Bonnie and I'm here with two cards I made from paper bags. I was actually inspired by this um, from Janie who is Scrappin' Stampers on YouTube. She is also the owner of the Not Too Shabby shop that's on Zibit. She had made some beautiful uh, cards made out of paper bags and I knew that last year, last summer at Target, they had tons of these white craft bags for a dollar. And believe me, I had gotten a lot of them. <laughs> and I've never used them. So today was the day to do that. And it was very easy. Um, you simply just fold, fold the card in half and embellish it. I'll go through all the other items that I used. I used this paper stack from Hobby Lobby. Um, it's the Paper Studio, A Day at the Beach. And there's like six sheets of every single design in here. They're very beachy and cute. Then I also used this Fancy Pants design, Summer Soul. This is from last summer. There's surfboards on here. Very tropical and cute. And then one of my favorite paper lines is Simple Stories. I love them so much. And this line was from a year or two ago and it's called Fabulous. Totally girly and cute. Then I use two different types of thickers. I use the Subway which is in light pink with the pink polka dots on them. And another pink set, but these are foam ones and these are cinnamon and they were foam letters in a very dull pink. The stamps that I used, I used this CC Designs Swiss Pixie Popsicle Brigida, and she's available in Jamie's store, not too shabby on Zibit. And I will post the link location in my description box so you can just hop right over there if you would like to buy her because Jamie does have her in stock right now. Another stamp set I used was Amy R's Beach Sentiments, I used quite a few of them off of here, like Belle of the Beach. Wishing you sunshiny days, fun in the sun. It's a very cute set. I also used, from this Tiddly Ink set, I used this little crab that's sitting on top of this bucket. And from Pink Paisley, this was the older set, I used this popsicle. Um, then I used this Fiskars Corner Punch, this adorable little Martha Stewart Fish Punch, this, um, oh, it's weird, it's upside down on here, <laughs> this, uh, ah, sorry, this beach, oh, there's glare, beach punch. I use this bubblegum um, wow embossing powder. This trim from Hobby Lobby, it's like a burlap. And some Prima tropical flowers that I had. The only other thing that I used was I had received um, the brand new line from Simple Stories um, for this summer was I Heart Summer. And you know, um, Simple Stories always has a 12 by 12 sheet that they have all these little cards and I completely cut them all apart and used one of them on one of the cards. So these were made for my eldest brother has two 
granddaughters, Piper and Taryn. They're six and three. And they also live in the Midwest. And I thought it would be cute to send them a little summer treat. <laughs> so on both of them, um, I used the burlap trim. It wraps around the back, the front and the back of each card. And I'll just go one at a time. Um, one thing I always find myself doing is on these thickers, they had glitter and I don't know if you really can see, but I usually take my glossy accents and completely put that on top of it too so they're nice and shiny and they're slick and they feel nice and smooth. Um, oh, and this was a paper tray ink button that's on here and just ribbon that I had. And I think the hardest thing to remember about making these cards is before taping on this front and your back, if you if you decide to do a back sheet of paper and you want to tie it shut, remember to glue down your ribbon first before you glue it on the paper. That's one thing I learned all too well. <laughs> so this is inside the card. Um, these popsicles, I stamped them out, colored them in with my Copics, and then I totally glossy accented them. I did use a scallop circle punch um, to punch out so it looks like a bite was taken out of this popsicle. This is the little pocket where you can slide in a gift card or bubble gum or anything. And I just have this little tag in there. And then there is my little girl. I glossy accented her popsicle totally stickled out that swimsuit who says you can't have a swimsuit that's all glittery and put some gems on her little um, flip-flops here's that decorative punch going across the bottom this was actually um, within the simple stories little paper pad they had little cutouts and that was one of them and then the bag does open here so I can be filled with treats um, to send them so this is for Piper and Taryn is the younger sister the one that's three and her thickers were the pink ones and they were foam and I actually oh I guess I should tell you <laughs> I have this scrappy cat uh, glitter glue and it was orange and because I don't uh, I honestly have never seen orange thickers before I'm sure they're out there because there's like 500 million thickers but I didn't have them so I completely just put this uh, glitter glue on the thickers and I think they turned out awesome after it dried I had, of course put a layer of um, glossy accents on top to make them smooth and I put her little popsicles on the front. It's just the back of her card. And then this is that Simple Stories card I had got cut out. P is for popsicles. And I have G is for girl. Just stamped Happy Summer on the back. Oops. And then, this is her side. Um, this is a little surfboard that says Fun in the Sun. And this little fish. And you know, can you see how his little gills are raised up? That's on that Martha Stewart punch. I think it's so cute. And Taryn has the most brightest red hair. And this is totally her with her little popsicle and her little glittered swimsuit. Here's the little crab on the bucket. And it opens the same as the other one. So I thought these would be totally cute to send to them. Just with a little treat. And a little way of giving them a little summer high. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to um, leave me a comment. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I 
would love that so much. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you, everybody. Bye now.